Hey everyone, thanks for uh, joining in on part two of my unboxing. Uh, we've only got another nine boosters left. We've done, uh, what's that, 15 so far. So this one, this video might be a little bit shorter. Um, I do apologize for the camera just dying, uh, but look, you can still see that it's still daytime. Um, it's only been like, what, an hour? Yeah, approximately to uh, charge up my camera. That's 75%, so it's not fully charged, but we're gonna see how much we can get through before it dies again on me. So, hope you enjoy the unboxing. All right, oh man, that's not the right screen. We want that one. So we're back. Um, so yeah, I do apologize for my camera dying. Uh, it is still a newish camera. I don't have a second battery for it yet, but I am working on that. Um, just realized that it's tilted a bit. That's right, still be able to work with cards here. Cool, all right. So getting on to the next Digimon booster. Having technical difficulties on my internet and now technical difficulties with my cameras. Um, it's becoming a bit of fun and games, I think, but anywho. So we've got Demi Devimon, Metal Maimmon, Palmon, Hagurumon, Gomamon, Garudamon, Kur Kurisarimon, uh, Apatamon, Graymon, Garurumon, and we've got the Hollow Plagramon, and another Analog Youth. One down, eight to go. As I said, it is better to buy a box because um, with the amount of cards I've got, I may as well make up my own deck out of these cards. Oh, there we go. All right. We have an Andromon. Togemon. Sorry, Andromon. Yep. Togemon. Ikakumon. Demi Devimon. Kurisari, Kurisari, Kurisari Mon, Zudomon, Biomon, Greymon, Myotismon, Boltmon, and the shinies we've got are the ultimate connection and Oh, that's a very nice card. Magna Anjamon. So this comes after Anjamon, but before Seraphimon. Very nice card. All right. Talking about Anjumon. Boom, one Anjumon. Metal Tyranamon. Weir Garurumon. Salamon. Tentamon. Hiramon. Typeermon. Gatamon. Phoenix Mon and Magna Dramon. Now the last two cards. Another Play Dramon. A Pale Dramon. And a Metal Greymon. Very nice.
Now remember, you can slow down my videos at any point uh, or pause them if there's cards you want to read. If there's anything special i think most of the cards we've gone through already um in the previous video so these are pretty much just double ups um i'm just hoping to get some more of these types of cards which are really cool looking but anyway we'll get there stingmon salamon tapiramon Mega Dramon, Devimon, Ikakumon, Elekmon, Phoenixmon, uh, Dino Beamon, and Boltmon. Now the last two cards. <sighs> Another Mega Carpu Terrymon. Yes, I like that shiny, so pretty. And a Tyrannomon, also holographic. Very pretty guys. Oh, pretty little things. We got a total of three, five, four, five, five boosters left. Just gonna start putting some of these cards into the uh, booster box. A little safekeeping, per se. Now, we'll probably make a separate video of me actually building the deck once the camera is charged up enough. Um, but that might not be until tomorrow morning. So, I do apologize, guys. All right. So, just put the zoom out a little bit. There we go. So you can see there's only four boosters remaining. All right, oh, sorry, five boosters, including this guy. Let's see what we got. Andromon. Ogamon. Metal Tyranamon. Zudamon. Garu Garudamon. Never gonna say that right. Uh, Demi Devimon. Tentamon. Lady Devimon. I'll oh, get into the end. Metal Etamon. And um, Argumon. Now the last two shinies. Another anal an Analog Youth. And. Oh, Machine Drumon. That is a nice card. Got that metal, metal look to it. Let's see if I can get that in the camera. It's a bit uh, out of focus. I'm sorry. There you go. See that metal grill going across it? You can see it down here a little bit. Very nice, very nice. That will go very well with this card. Gotta love Greymon and Machine Drummon. Do apologize if you guys can hear my uh, suburb. <laughs> Pros and cons with living where I am. Um, it is a lot of. Uh, Suburban houses, but also at the same time, a lot of um, bad houses, but won't go too much into it. So we got Metal Main Mom, Goma Mon, a 
Hagurumon. Owlmon. Wizardramon. I'm sure that. Yeah, there we go. Urusarimon. Anjamon. Piedmon. Etmon. And a um, Plesiomon. Now, the shinies. Ooh. Got a fight for the for your pride card. And the ultimate connection card. Which I have to admit is different to the last time I got it, isn't it? Oh no, they're the same. Never mind. Must be going crazy. Oh. Sorry, my autofocus just turned on. On the, um. Sorry, on the webcam, not the camera camera. Three left. Again, if you want to listen to this music, please jump onto Stream Beats by um, Chris Heller. It's on uh, Spotify um, and any other musical source that you can look up. All right, so we got Stingmon, XVmon. Agurumon, Wizardmon, Metal Maimon, Garudamon, Gardramon, Plesiomon, and Dino Beamon. Now, last two cards. Oh, sorry, Piedmon was one ahead. Last two cards now. We have a shiny Vemon. Very nice card. And Metal Garurumon. I don't think we've pulled one of these yet, so that's great. Pretty much make a whole blue deck with all these cards too. Metal Garurumon. Alright. Last two guys. Wish me luck. Oh, uh, left or right? Mini, 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 mo. Catch a tiger by a toe. If he falls, let him go. Any, mini, mini, mo. Girl Scouts, you're out. Sorry, mate. It's got to be this one. Okay. Second last pack. Please give me another one of those blue cards. All I want is another... Like, blue... Maybe... Maybe even if I got this guy in the blue, that would be nice. Gomamon, Palmon, Antramon, Devimon, Metra, Metal Dramon, oh sorry, Mega Dramon, Togamon, Ikakumon, oh, another Kabuterimon. Oh, got two more. Um, Gabumon. And Lady Draymon. Now, last two cards. We have Vemon. Another shiny Vemon. And. Another Seraphimon. 
So we're looking pretty good on the uh, the yellows. All right, last pack. Last pack. So scared to look at them. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to have a bit of faith. Grab the last two cards. Stick them face down. I want them to have the most amount of luck that I can give them. All right, let's go through these guys. We have Electmon, EXVMon, a Stingmon, a Metal Tyrannomon, a Gomamon, a Gardomon, Wizardmon, a Rosemon, a Bergeramon, and an Etmon. Now, last two cards. Come on, please, 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 please. Oh, I got an energy emergency program shut down and an ice wall. So close, guys. So close. Well, that's all the pulls for the um, classic collection booster box. Um, as I said, I can do another one lay down the track. If you guys wish for me to do more, um, please let me know. Uh, best pulls, I believe, were definitely these two, the first two. They are some great holographics. I've got some beautiful artwork on them. And just the holographics that's in them. I'm trying to get. See, this one looks like it's shattered. But um, Biomon looks like they've got like shattering all over it, like that. But. Tentamon looks like it's got cells or like larvae or something. Leopard print. So both very, very pretty cards. I will be putting Tentamon into my deck because um, it does have some really cool abilities. So when attacking, the next time one of your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon card with insect or ancient insect in its traits this turn uh, traits this turn reduce the memory cost of the digivolution by one so that means that that anything I um, get as an insectoid is going to level up much quicker now just having a little quick look at Biomon as well um, when attacking once per turn when this Digimon attacks a player draw one so that means that I'll go through my deck very quickly, which is not the best thing in the world, but it's a good, good level two card. So I'll be putting them in sleeves at a late date. Um, there's that as well. As you can see, there's quite a few holographics in there, but um, yeah, anyway, uh, so that's that. And then, as I said, I will be popping these two cards into my deck which is, sorry, I have a cat currently trying to play cards with me. Metal Seedramon and the Howling Crusher. They are just gorgeous. They're just beautiful looking. Now, I know he's not a strong level six, but he's a good level six. All right, guys. So that's it for the Digimon. Um, as I said, I will probably make another video with me doing some deck building. Um, actually, give me one second. I'm just gonna check how the camera is going now. If I go to this.
Uh, battery looks pretty full. You know what? Gonna risk it for the biscuit. As the as the kiddos like to say. I don't know. I don't know what kids say these days. But I'm gonna risk it and I'm going to continue this video with the deck building. Alright, whoop, let's turn that back on. There we go, guys. Alright, so uh, refocus. Woo! Alright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze the deck we've got now to start with. Now learning a little bit about card games, um, best way to do it is uh, what they call a splash. So what you want in your deck, it's just a splash of something. So that was the deck itself. Pop those cards that way. All right, uh, these cards are pointless. These cards are not. All right, so we've got our Eight cards. You've got your level three cards in one, two, three, four, four lots of four. You might zoom this out a bit. There you go, guys. All right, so eight cards. Level threes, level threes, level threes, level threes. Damn, we got our level four cards. We got Togemon, Wagamon, Habiterimon. There were five cards include Okawama, Lilymon, and Mega Kabuterimon. There were six cards include Rosemon and Hercules Kabuterimon. So going through the cards that we received today. Quite a few of them. Woo! To do a good deck swap, um, best thing to start off with is if you do want to add in another element of some sort, so doing a two card deck. Um, the first thing you need to do, um, I don't think I've got any other egg cards. Let me just double check. Oh, I got a black egg card, which was Missilemon. Otherwise, the other option is digivolving from green to blue. So sometimes you don't need um, eggs to put in some good mons. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just quickly go through all the cards we've got. And I'm going to um, categorize them. So I'm going to just grab up level threes. Grab up the level fours. Grab up level fives. Oh, missed a level three. And grab up level sixes. Okay. Actually, that was the uh, evolutionary chain for um, good old Palmon. <laughs> so that's quite ingenious. All right. So I'm going to categorize them from. I'm going to keep these two separate though. I'm going to go yellows, blues, blacks, greens, reds, purples. I think that's all of the elements. All right, so.
I will put a skip in the video if you want me to skip doing this, um, as this may take me a while to get through. Should have been doing this when I was opening the boosters, but good old Feral doesn't think that way. Seeing a bit of a trend going now. So aquatics, angels, uh, wizards, like darkness, magic, um, insects and plants, birds and dinosaurs. Yeah. All right. One third of the way there. Again, I'll put that... Um, Fast forward in here, so that anyone that doesn't want to watch me do this, uh, fast forward it and watch me just through it. <laughs> There's a very good chance by the time I finish this, I'm going to have like two minutes on the camera. And your woman, good card. Now, please don't throw any hate at me over the fact that I'm physically handling these cards or the fact that I'm sticking them on top of each other. Again, still new to all this trading card world. Um, if you've got a problem, you know, just be kind. Be nice about it. Don't have to be um, assholes, <laughs> to put it nicely.
And last but not least, that one. Alright, so we got reds. We have the greens. We have the blacks. We have the blues. We have the purples. And we have the yellows. Plus all my option cards. So I may change the option cards. I don't know just yet. All right. So going back to what we were saying before. So we've got eggs. Now the eggs are going to be green on my current deck. Hope that's clearer. So those ones I can't actually change. I don't have any eggs in this pile. So just going to have to move on. Oh, actually. Have to add these guys in. So those two, I'm gonna keep them to the side. And keep him to the side. Okay, so blue, blue, yellow. Oh, option, sorry. Blue, option. Balls and puck cards. Blue, black, yellow, green, option, purple, black, option, egg, which I'm just going to pop in there, um, option, blue, and purple. Okay. So, yeah, so going back. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with good old level threes. Now, currently I've got four of Palmon, four of Floramon, four of Tentamon, and four of Kunamon. So going through the greens, is there any I wish to replace them with? Oh, sorry. Just to just to recap as well. This is the point where you want to decide if you want to get rid of anything in particular. Now, personally, um, like Coonmon and Floramon, they're probably the best to get rid of as they don't have special abilities on either of them. Um, admittedly, Kunmon particularly has a zero Digivolve cost, but it's got a four play cost. Now, this one will require this to be able to get on the field without paying four cost. These ones, the three costs and the two costs is much better. The Digivolve cost of one and the um, Digivolve cost of zero is much better as well. So, Kunmon can actually go take a rest. I will take him out and I'll add in a different uh, level three. So, just going through the cards I've got now. So, obviously, I've got level three there, level three there, level three, level three, level three, level three. So these are all the level threes that I have received. So we've got Tentamon, Palmon, Tentamon, Palmon, 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 Tentamon, Palmon, Tentamon. Okay. So these are the two sets of Palmons and Tentamons I've got. Now, um, 
The power one has a, an ability. Should be able to read it from there. Power one has an ability of uh, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon um, with 5,000 DP or less. And then Tentamon's ability is the next time um, your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon card with Insectoid and Insect, um, Ancient Insect in its trait this turn, reduce the memory cost of the di Digivolution by one. So, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a green card, Digimon card, add it to your hand. Otherwise, place it at the bottom of your deck. When attacking, if you attack an opponent's Digimon, this Digimon gains, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP for the turn. Now, so this is the thing. Um, these cards, kind of a good mix. Oh. Sorry, Kitty Cat just decided to destroy all the cards. What nice piles I made. Very busy up here, Papa. I know, you just want to cuddles. Alright. So what I may do... Floramon is much easier to get out in the field. I just wanted to put something out in the field. But it's only an extra one cost. So what I might do as well is I might bench Floramon. In with the rest of the greens and instead pick up four of palmon four of tentamon now i just need to double check with someone um It's very hard to type around. Um, So I've just asked my uh, friend and expert um, whether or not you can actually have Palmon and Tentamon and Palmon and Tentamon. Because the other question is, is that you may not be able to have the same named Digimon more than four. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to swap out two and two and then bring back my other two friends, which was um, Kunamon and Floramon.
So I've got the go ahead. You can actually um, swap them out. So I don't need to bring back Kunmon and Florimon. Cool. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four of them. Four of them. Gonna have four of these. And four of these. So in total, 16 level threes. That is my level threes now done. Next on, my level fours. So we got Togemon. Um, Kuwagamon. And Kabuterimon. So pulling back out the greens. Now in this instance, if you want to also get rid of one and add a new element, you'd want to get rid of one of these guys. Um, most of the time, I'd probably get rid of Kawagamon because it doesn't have any effects. It does have probably the highest DP, but that's not necessary for this, this run. This one also has an ability and that also has an ability. So it's always best to try and keep your um, ability mons as available as possible. Um, So what we're going to do is go through the cards that we received and see if we've got any level fours. So we've got Togemon, Kabuterimon, Stingmon, and Kawagamon. Now, seeing as this particular Kawagamon doesn't have any abilities, and we've got four of them, we can swap out these two for them. So swap out two of them for these two. And we've got four Kawagamon still. Um, Kabu Terimon. Now, he's a blocker. What I could do is also swap out these two Kawagamons. For two more Kabuteri months with a different ability. And then Togemon. Now, this Togemon is much more effective in the uh, DP department. Same stats and everything. The difference being is the ability. So, the Togemon to my left has the ability when attacking, if you attack an opponent's Digimon, this Digimon gains a plus 200 DP for the turn. Where on the right, it says your turn once per turn. When one of your opponent's Digimon becomes suspended, this Digimon gains 2000 DP for the turn. So both of them are actually very good. What I might do is I might go two for two. Swap out two, put in two. Last but not least, we've got Stingmon. Now, do we want to add Stingmon to the deck or do we want to give it a miss? 
Let's have a look. Piercing. When this Digimon attacks and deletes an opponent's Digimon and survives the battle, it performs any security check it normally would. So this sting ability would be quite good, would be quite handy at taking down some of the security checks. It also has the ability while this Digimon has Imperial Imperial Dragon Imperial Dramon in its name or free in its traits it gains piercing so that's not a bad idea Oh, now don't forget, I completely forgot, I'm adding one of these guys in. So I'm going to take one of him out, I'm adding him in. Because he is a really cool Tentamon. Alright. Just realized the mayor should have done this backwards because if I want to add my Seijamon into the actual um into the deck, I need something to evolve it from blue. Blue level five. So let's have a look, see through our blue deck. And just see if I've got any level fives I can evolve it from. Got a couple of level five water uh, blues, which is Pale Dramon.
But Digimon card with free in its trait is in this demon is is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. Unsuspend this Digimon. Okay. Hmm. This is a tricky one, guys. I think I might leave it. Just leave it as is. That should be more than enough. So have him scurrying away. Okay. Next on is our level fives. We have Lilymon, Mega Kabuterimon, and Okuwamon. Now, I know I've got a couple of Mega Carpentary Mons in here, so we're looking for level 5s now. Okay. We have Brackleomon. Dinobimon. Mega Carbuterimon, Dinobimon, 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 oh a Lilymon, another Mega Carbuterimon, another Lilymon, another Lilymon, and that's it, that's all the little fives we got. Now I'm going to put good old uh, Grappliomon away. Is just a, r a really random card to have. Um, we have Dino Bimon, which is a level five level five grass water type. Um, I think the better option would be to get rid of Okawama Mon and instead put both of the Mega Carpentary Mons in. So we've got four in total. And then put two of the Lily Mons in. So we've got um, quite a few insectoids and a couple of fairies. And they've all got bit abilities, so that's good. That's 10 uh, level 5s and level 6s. We have Rosemon and Hercules Habuterimon. Habuterimon. Now, I know I've got another Hercules Habuterimon in here, which is that guy. I've got a couple of Rose Mons as well. Now let's see what the difference is. Uh, play cost 11, Digimon costs 3. Uh, the one on the left does the ability, when Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of their next turn. And the other one, this Digimon gets plus 1000 for each of, their op for each of your opponent's suspended Digimon. Not bad. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Cool. I do like her, so I'm going to swap one for one. And I think I'm going to swap. Oh, let's see what they do. Okay, so the one on the left. Piercing. This Digimon... This Digimon's attack. This Digimon attacks and deletes an opponent's Digimon and survives the battle. It performs any security check it normally would. And number two, which is main, uh, Digiverse 2. Trash two of this Digimon's Digi Evolution cards to act activate the effect below. 
suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So I can suspend Digimon whilst also at the same time, um, my good old Rosemon would go up, but everything else would go down. On the other hand, the uh, Hercules Kabuterimon on the right, your turn. Once per turn, when one of your Digimon with Insectinoid or Ancient Insect in its traits deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, you may suspend you may unsuspend this Digimon. That's pretty cool. So technically speaking, I could attack with that again. Um, for each Digimon card with Insectanoid in its traits, in this Digimon's Digievolution cards, it gains plus 1,000 DP. So that's going to be... Um, lesser so that's one two three so it's a fifteen thousand cp uh dp yeah I'll swap one for one so one rose and two cover so we're gonna have two of them and two of them not a bad little hole there and that will make up this deck now the only thing left to do is play. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we've still got the trainer cards and the, um, sorry, tamer cards and the option cards. Again, you need something of that color to be able to play it. So let's go through and just sort out the colors quickly. Now we actually didn't get any green um no we didn't get any green option cards we did get however some white ones now i do believe that white isn't technically a color well i know white's not a color white's all colors but anywho so what we've got here is we've got four pin needles and two electro shocks. So I can replace a couple of pin needles if I wish with some of the white cards. Now I do have quite a few of uh, these ones. Let me just sort them back out. So I've got one of the, um, I have one of this one three of this and four of this. Now each of the abilities. We have win rate 60. If you have a tamer in play, you may use this option card without meeting its color requirements. Which it doesn't have color requirements, I'm guessing.
Oh, begging pardon, this is a tamer card. <laughs> That's why it's a different colour. Alright, so let's have a look at the two option cards I've got, because the other one was a tamer. So option number one. If you have a tamer in play, you may use this card um, this option card without meeting its colour requirements. Which in this case I'm guessing is white. Um main. The next time the next time one of your Digimon Digivolves um, this turn, you may trash one Digimon card in your hand of the same color as the Digivolving Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digivolve Evolution by forty uh, by four. The other one, Emergency Program Shutdown. Your opponent can't use option cards until the end of their next turn. That's not bad. Both of them are not bad. The Needle Spray, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Now it does have security. Um, activate this card's main effect, then add this card to your hand. Okay. Um, return one of your opponent's suspended Pokemon, uh, Digimon to its owner's hand. Trash all the Digi Evolution cards of that Digimon. Okay. Um, I think what I might do is I might actually leave that. I could swap out one of them for one of them. But I'm waiting to find out whether or not white is considered um, an all card or a no card. Once um, Suede wants to get back to me. <laughs> Now, I do have a game to play in about 30 minutes, so I'll be wrapping this up in the next uh, 10 minutes. But luckily, this is the last of it, and then I've made my deck. Come on. Oh, my monster's about to turn off. I will. I'm going to swap out one needle spray for the run 60. And, and I'm going to leave that one. Okay. 
Okay, and then Tamers. Now, I can't use him because he's yellow, so that's easy. But the white Tamer. Um, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon. I can't actually use this one anyway because it's a white. Um, so white is considered a color. So I can't use any white cards. However, this one has a, an ability that if I had a tamer on the field, then I can play this without needing its color requirements, which is good. Now these cards here, unfortunately I can't use them, so I'm going to pop them back into my other little deck, uh, deck box. And I will probably make up a secondary deck, um, but I'll do the video tomorrow. As I said, I'm going to be ending the stream now, just because I do have uh, another stream to actually, uh, sorry, recording to do. So, eggs, my level 3s, my level 4s, my level 5s. My level sixes. Oh, do I have any level sevens? And my option cards. Sorry, that's another point. I think I had a level seven grass one. Didn't I? Grass. Green. Maybe not. Ignore me, guys. Apparently, six is the highest you can go. Yep. All right. So I've now officially made my first ever deck. I will be making another one um, probably tomorrow, as described. Um, I hope you guys jump on for that video as well. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll let you know how the tournament goes when I get back. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks. So as I was saying guys, um, I'll be doing another uh, video now. This is, we're going to be playing some Sea of Thieves. Um, Death Azza and Foreman and I are going to be jumping on to a new ship. Um, I'm not going to be sailing my ship just yet. I do apologize if anyone's waiting on that. Uh, but I'll be streaming um, for Sea of Thieves tonight. And then, yeah, good to go. All right, I'll catch you guys again soon. Bye.